Darkman 3, Die, Darkman Die, short movie review. The movie opens the way every Darkman movie does, with the introduction of the villain. Peter Rooker has made a lot of money selling drugs, but he is a fanatic about physical strength. Darkman has still not really taken to the whole vigilantism thing, but continues to try to perfect the liquid skin. And he finds yet another opportunity for perfecting it, but can he really, can he find it himself to trust this fellow scientist of the same field? And that is sort of his arc for the movie, to allow himself to care about other people, even after having lost so much. This is by far the more entertaining of these two sequels. It's the action-heavy one, and although it's still not actually a particularly good movie overall, it's certainly fun. It keeps to a nice fast pace, similar to the first one, with plot twists keeping it going, continually changing the stakes and keeping you guessing as to what's going to happen next. And I'm not sure any of them really completely defy the laws of logic. Acting is pretty good. Peter Rooker, the villain, is played by Jeff Fahey, and he's a lot of fun. He gives the role all the personality that it does have, which is still not an awful lot. In general, this is sort of the personality... The, the second movie had some of the personality, this one just has action, to a certain extent. This also gets the gore right with some really flinch-inducing sequences. Not too many, though. And the action in general is quite good. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.